All right, let's start the mission. We're going to take an E blues that uh, I made a loop of, and we're going to play it back right now. We're going to give, uh, give it a listen, both you and I. Uh, I'm going to point out some things about it, and then after we give it a listen, I'm going to try and uh, start constructing a line. So uh, load it up, guys, and let, let's, let's give it a listen. Okay. Here's the one. 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 Four. Four. One. One. Five. Four. One. Five. Back to the one. There's the beginning again. All right. Pretty simple, Chicago style, four beats, pretty awesome. Now I have it in my head, uh, I can feel it. Before we, you know, before I start, and you get to watch me suffer through this, um, is that rhythm, that boom, boom, bah, boom, 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 bah. You wanna get that in your bones. That's the rhythm of the blues, and also blues leads. You don't really find a lot of quarter notes or strict eighth notes. You find the rhythms in your leads of like boom, 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 boom or like boom, 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 you know, either down picking, boom, 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 or alternate picking. So you just want to have that feel in your right hand when, when you're thinking about writing or have it here. All right, so um, what we're going to do here now is I think the guys have uh, just the first four bars of the one. I'm going to listen to it. I'm going to try and do this live in front of you. You know, I have years of studying and teaching of blues lines in my head, and they're going to pop in. I'm going to try and fight them and or come up with something organically and explain what we're doing. So let's see if we can hear those first four bars of the one, and we'll get to it. All right. Okay. We're good. Right off the bat, all of my being says, hey, Ian, to start off with that opening riff thing you talked about in the class, that four and a one, right? Uh, bum, 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 four and a one. Now the option, I'm going to stick to it because it's powerful, it works, and it's an example I used in the class. So let's see, four and a one. Let's say done four and a one. Da, 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 da. Okay, so I can kind of hear what I'm doing. Now I got to kind of search through uh, where everything is. Now I'm using the E minor pentatonic, right? All my options are in that E Mixodorian blues scale, that whole thing. Right? But I'm thinking about it in layers. And I want to come in with something that's bi like binding with the music. So I'm just, just thinking pentatonic. You know, pentatonic always sounds good. Um, and there's the gold mine right there. Okay, I love uh, that. Coming on that note. Okay, that's the five. One, flat, three, four, five. Five is all about tension. And... Uh, I can do, th there's that four and a one, but I don't want to come in on the root. I want to add a little bit of color. Uh, four and a one, there it is. There it is. All right. Very, very simple. And come in with four and a one, and that's that minor third pulled towards that major third. Four and a one, bam, ba bam, four and a, come to the root. I have the first three right now. Now I'm like, okay, I'm in it. So I'm using that five, flat seven, five. It's really not about those intervals. I'm just showing you what's happening. That's the first line. Second line, we've got to vary it up a little bit for interest. So I'm going to do come to the root. Now, I want to say, yes, you know, I've been playing this stuff for years, and it's coming to me quite easily and naturally because I, I teach this stuff. It, 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 it might take time for you, and that's fine. Uh, you know, but I just don't want you to watch me for 45 minutes do this. <laughs> so, you know, I'm, I'm, what I'm trying to say is it will come to you, and you will be able to write stuff this quickly once you study this stuff. Um, uh, four and a one. Bum, bum, bum. Four and a one. Put a little head there. Uh, now, the fourth bar, like the fourth bar, I, I know. We're, we're moving now towards the four. So I want to build a little bit of movement up. And my, all my inklings are just saying, take that four and bend to the five. I know what that sounds like. There's that tension. And to the root. And I, I think I have it. But four and a one. Da, da, da. Four and a one. Ba, ba. Boom, ba, boom. Da, da. 
I'm going to put a, <laughs> a pencil stamp on that. What we're going to do is I'm going to turn on my distortion because I picture it with distortion. And I'm going to have the guys load up that bag and track. And let's see if it, how this sounds, okay? Let's, let's, uh, let's do it. All right. Now that sounds really good. Has a lot of strength in it. We used all of our knowledge. We started with the five, came in with those blues curls, led towards the four. I think it's really tasty and I think it will stick in the audience's ear. Let's hear it one more time, shall we? That definitely has my stamp of approval. Hopefully yours too. Next chapter, we talk about what I'm gonna do on the four chord.